It's been revealed that U.S. authorities have been secretly tracking American travelers under a surveillance program called Quiet Skies. The move targets people who haven't been investigated by any U.S. agency but still may pose a risk. Suspicious behavior defined as things like strong body odor, irregular sleeping patterns, and changing hairstyle or clothes could flag up someone for surveillance. The unit then compiles individual daily reports. After the story broke, the TSA issued a statement claiming its standard procedure. Federal air marshals may deploy on flights in furtherance of the TSA mission to ensure the safety and security of passengers, crew members and aircraft throughout the aviation sector. My colleague Kate Partridge got reaction to this from investigative reporter Dave Lindorf and political commentator Steve Malsberg. TSA has determined that yes, actually, that yes, the shoe bomber on, Steve before they're, they're actually after spotted, there was based a on travel list. patterns and maybe changing and maybe changing <laughs> hair color, which could be suspicious. And it's not only hair color and body odor; those are two two remote examples. But you know what? Let's take a poll of the American people, and overwhelmingly, they'll say, "Do what it takes to keep us safe." Hey, do you want people to be able to say "bomb" while walking through an airport too? Because they can't; they'll get arrested. They didn't catch a bunch of people with their no-fly list. They were busy capturing nuns who were going to protests and people like my yeah, co-author okay. of the <laughs> impeachment book. Barbara Olshansky, who was stopped, and every time she she had to make sure she had good underpants because she was strip searched every time she would fly because she was a lawyer for the Center for Constitutional Rights. People have to understand is that you don't have any right to fly uh, in the United States. Certainly, uh, it's a privilege to fly, and you don't have a right to say whatever you want on a plane or in an airport. You don't have a right to move about the way you want. Uh, so your freedoms are severely limited to begin with for security purposes, and I believe most Americans. Americans would agree, rightfully so. These things get out of hand if people don't get to know that they're on a list and get to challenge the list. And that was the problem with the no-fly list. That's the problem with this list, that nobody knows Why is they're it out on of it. Hand? Maybe you're and on so the list. Maybe they're watching and, you. And do we know? Maybe they're watching you. Maybe they're watching me. I probably me. am. If I now know there are air marshals who are armed on my flights, most of my flights, I don't care who they're watching, as long as they're there. So I don't have a problem with this. What some of the sure, human rights not, groups are saying. They're saying the TSA may be singling people out, though, if you think about according to race or some of those other factors. It, we, we might be, it might be keeping people safe, but is it a case that they're focusing on the right people? Yeah, of course. That's what I was talking about. When they went after the nuns and the political people, they weren't going after the people that were the real problems and risks. And look, I got a, I got a beard. I look like maybe I'm, uh, you know, some jihadi. That list goes to uh, law enforcement in the United States. It's going to stay there, and it's going to impact your life in some way because it, you're not going to know it's there, and they're going to watch you in different ways. It may affect your employment, your promotion. It could affect all kinds of things. You should have a right to know once they decide that you're not a suspicious person, supposedly after 90 days, that you're on that list and it gets wiped. There's nobody saying that happens. This is an out of control problem already and it's going to get worse. To say it's out of control, to say that we've missed to, to say that we've missed people because, at the, because we're watching this one, we missed that one, there are none. They point to the shoe bomber. That was a long time ago. To say people aren't going to get promotions, people are going to get, not get jobs. There's no evidence of this. This is mass hysteria. This is not mass. It's hysteria. That happens with and, every and again, kind of flying files, is a privilege. Steve. If you don't want to be every, on the list, don't fly. Don't fly.